Hello friends, uh, in this lecture we'll be focusing mainly on genome complexity and histones. We'll be discussing uh, the various objectives of this lecture as chromatin interface DNA, and the histones is types and properties and how histones help in the compaction of the chromatin via nucleosomic model. Out of all the phases of the cell cycle, the one phase of the cell is important in synthesis process. This uh, state is called as the interface state of a cell, where the uh, typical cell spends most of its life, usually 40 to 50% of the cell cycle, uh, life cycle is in the interface state. And this is the metabolic phase of the cell, where uh, the cell obtains the nutrients and metabolizes them, and also synthesizes the new DNA, new uh, RNA and new proteins for it is uh, normal function so this is the functional state of a cell in the functional state interface uh, DNA is not present in the condensed form it is not present as the chromosomes it is unwound and usually present like a thread like structures called as the chromatin threads and in this uh, structure chromatin thread structure the DNA actually uh, associates itself with the proteins those are of two types, non-histones and histones. In a chromatin structure, the non-histone proteins are actually the metabolic enzymes, which are involved in the DNA and histone metabolism. They are helpful in the replication and recombination processes as well as the transcriptional regulation. All these proteins make up the metabolosome of the interface state of a cell, and they are all non-histones. There is another uh, special type of uh, uh, protein which are present uh, in the chromatin structure and in the interface state of a cell. They, those are called as HMG proteins, high mobility group proteins. And then there is a third class of uh, proteins also which belong to non-histone as well. Those are called as protamines. They help in the packaging of the DNA in the sperm head particularly. So all these make up the non-histone part of the chromatin structure during the interface state of a cell they are associated with the chromatin or histones they are highly basic proteins uh, in nature they are found in the eukaryotic cell nuclei associated with the chromatin their function is usually to package and order the dna into structural units which are called as nucleosomes and most of the proteins have been found which are associated with the chromatin are usually histones, usually 80 to 90 percent of the proteins associated with the chromatin are histones and they are categorized into five families or classes which are H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. These four are called as the core proteins and then there is a linker uh, protein uh, histone which is called as H1. It is somewhat different from the H2, H2B, H3 and H4. And uh, the core of histones, the H2, H2B, H3 and H4, they are usually small proteins with uh, masses varying from 10 to 20 kilo delta. These histones usually have a positive uh, charge, large positive charge because of the presence of the basic amino acids which constitute about 20 to 30 percent in each of them, the, the lysine and the arginine. Uh, because of the presence of the lysine and the arginine, they possess a positive charge and this positive charge helps uh, these histones to interact with the DNA which is in itself a negatively charged molecule. So opposites attract here and help in packaging the DNA around these uh, histone proteins uh, by forming the salt bridges with the negatively charged DNA backbone as you can see in this uh, picture in the middle of the diagram here you will see the dna is bound around the core new histones to form a specialized structure which we will uh, discuss later on are interacting with itself to form an octamer of h2 h3 and h4 uh, histones have an inherent capacity of forming the complexes in absence of dna as well they can make a tetramer like that of H3, H4 uh, tetramer or H2A, H2B dimer as well. And each histone uh, contains usually uh, uh, three helix motif called as histone fold, 
which helps uh, or facilitates the interaction uh, with each other besides there is a n-terminal tail in each of the histones also which uh, serves as the interaction between each of them as you can see in the diagram here so this this is the uh, n-terminal tail of each of the histone which helps in the interaction and form dimers or tetramers one is somewhat distinct uh, in their structure as well as presence uh, from the other uh, histones uh, in the nucleosome or chromatin model. Usually H1 histones are uh, little larger than the rest of the histones. They have uh, more variation than the other uh, histones. That This variation is between and within the species as well. And they are easily extracted from the bulk of the uh, chromatin. Why? Because they don't make a central core structure within this uh, nucleosomic or chromatin model. They usually link their two DNA fragments in between the two nucleosomes, as you can see in this diagram. Yeah. And they are uh, usually present uh, half the quantity than the other uh, nucleosomes and usually they are not associated as i already told they are not associated with the core assembly uh, within the nucleosome model so this was the whole story about the histones in the next lecture we will be discussing uh, how histones interact with each other to form a, a sub assembly called as the nucleosome and help in the packaging of the chromatin So if you like the content, do subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading the next molecular biology classes soon. Till then, see you. Take care of yourself.